my people and welcome back to another video as you can see from the title of the video I will be doing a everyday makeup slash get ready with me video today it's just my everyday glowy makeup so if you have not already make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications to make sure you get notified every time I post a video which is every Tuesdays or every other Tuesdays either one but let's get into this video so I can show you guys my everyday makeup look so I did put the camera more close up to me because obviously you know it's a makeup look look I want you guys to be able to see clearly everything that I'm doing so I'm just gonna take my makeup out which is all right next to me I have my little container of my brushes first thing that I like to do is I like to prep my skin so I'm going to be using the Ordinary's natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid which you all have seen me use before I'm gonna put a little bit I don't put that much when I'm gonna do makeup literally just a little bit so I'm gonna rub that into my face Okay, so now that my face is prepped, I always start off with my eyebrows first. I wish I could tell you guys what eyebrow pomade I use. I know it's just from Target, it's nothing fancy, but my dog bit the whole cap of it, so I really can't see what brand it is. I literally don't even remember, I don't even remember when I go to the store, like, what to look for because... My dog bit it, so I just use this. Um, it is a brow fill and a spoolie from Target. It's just a regular brush. I brush my eyebrows up like so. I like going for that feathery look. And I kind of just like that natural eyebrow look. I don't really like them looking super bold. I just dip it and I just do a line right under my eyebrows. So a straight line right under. I love the straight eyebrow look so I fill it in and I just kind of go in this motion like over and over again just filling in those spaces that kind of look like they're empty like the spaces where you can see your skin and then these front hairs I go upwards like so and then again just the same motion Then I brush them downwards, which looks really bad, but I rush it downwards and then I go downward motion. Okay, so eyebrow one is done. As you can see, it's honestly not that big of a difference. It's just a little fill in. Like I said, I really like keeping it that natural look. So I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow and I'm going to speed through that. Okay, so now that both eyebrows are done, I go in with concealer and just clean up the bottom of my eyebrow, so completely straight across. And the concealer that I use is CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and it is in the color Classic Ivory, so that is what it looks like. And I will make sure to put all the products that I'm using in the description box below. So for this, I take a... This is just a professional eyeliner brush by e.l.f. It's just a straight brush and I use that to go right under my eyebrow and I just open the concealer, take the brush and I just dab it on where I see some concealer on the stick. So not that much. And I'm just gonna go straight under my eyebrow. Okay, so that is what it's looking like. And then, again with the same brush, then I start blending it downwards. It kind of just gives the eyebrow that clean look, which is why I like it. It is not the best concealer, I'm not even gonna lie, but I don't use concealer for my under eyes. I literally only use concealer for um, under my eyebrow, so I wasn't gonna, I didn't really want to get a super expensive concealer just to use in one area. This one has worked really well for 
my eyebrows. Okay, so that is what my eyebrows are looking like now. Um, hopefully you guys can tell, like it is a little cleaner under there. So after I do my eyebrows and conceal them, then I go in with my eyeshadow. I do my eyeshadow first because when I'm doing my eyeshadow, a lot of the powder falls onto my face. So if I put my foundation on, which I used to do before, and then put my eyeshadow on, I had like eyeshadow on my, it's like sticking on my foundation. And when I would try to take it off, it would literally like swipe across the foundation and then like the color would get on my cheek. So for my eyeshadow, I, this is my little trick because it's so natural and I love natural makeup. So I use Hoola Bronzer by Benefit as my crease color. Um, I've been using Hoola Bronzer as my eyeshadow since like, I want to say junior year of high school and I'm already in my third year of college. So this is just, it's my go-to. It's broken, which I'm so sad about, but it still works. It still does the job. For my eyeshadow, I just use this like fluffy brush. It's just like a dual eyeshadow brush um, that I got at TJ Maxx in a set. So I just dip it in the Hoola bronzer. Not that much because it does pick up a lot. And then I go in and go in my crease. So just going back and forth. And I bring it all the way into my, like, I do it on my outer crease and then I do bring it in all the way into my inner crease. Make sure to blend that nicely. And it's nice because with Hoola bronzer you can keep picking up keep picking up color and doing it as dark or as light as you like. I like making it look bronzy, so I do go in again and pick up some more. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and I am going to speed it up. Okay, so both eyes are done and I am pretty content with the darkness of the bronzer. I am going to bring it a little bit darker right there. So I brought it a little bit darker in my inner corner right here. Okay, so once the bronzer is done, I go ahead with the Morphe Times James Morphe Times James Charles palette. So now I go in with the color canvas and just do that on my lid. And it is the top left color on my on the James Charles Times Morphe palette. So I go in and pick up some of that and I put it all over my lid. And I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Something that I really like about this palette is that the colors are so pigmented so you don't have to keep re-dipping. Like you just kind of dip it once and work with what you have, which I love. As you can see, I'm not swiping for this color. I'm just patting it in. Okay, so now that that color is done, I'm going to go ahead and go in again with the bronzer and kind of just blend everything out. So the next step, uh, I'm going to use So Good and put that on my lid. That is this color right here. And then I use the color Ring Light, which is the color right next to it, and put that in my inner corner. So I use the other side of the brush and I'm going to go in with So Good, correct, So Good and put that on my lid. And for this, I swipe it just once across and then I pick up again. So I go like this and swipe it and then pick up some more and swipe that on. And after I have the amount I want, then I'll keep swiping. But it's more like a dragging motion actually. It's almost as if I was doing a cut crease, but I'm not because I'm not putting that whole concealer and all of that. I'm just keeping it simple. 
Okay, so this eye looks how I want it. So then I go in with the other side of the brush and blend the just the crease to make it kind of go into the shimmery color. So I'm all done with my eyeshadow. I'm not going to do my inner corner until after I have my foundation on because I do like the inner corner to stick. So put foundation on all on here and then so the inner corner can stick. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation and the foundation that I use is by L'Oreal and it's the Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation in the color 104 Golden Beige. That is what it looks like. And I love, love, love this foundation. I have not bought another foundation. I haven't tried another foundation. I love this one. If they ever stop making these, I'll probably have a heart attack because I love the this foundation so much. I love the matte look. I love it. And I honestly don't put that much on. I just put dots on my face. So you guys are going to see how I do it. Oh, wait. I do shake my foundation first before putting it on, and here we go. So I just do dots, lots and lots of dots. Okay, so this is what I look like after I have my foundation on. If I feel like I need to put more after I blend it, then I will put more. This is the full coverage foundation brush by Pixi, and it is my favorite foundation brush. So I'm going to go ahead, use this, and blend my foundation in. I just like to go in circular motions. Make sure to get the neck, guys. Don't freak up the neck. We don't want it looking all discolored. And you want to make sure you get in your hairline. Okay, so I know my lips probably look pale right now because of the foundation, but this is the foundation. It, it's so, like, it just feels so nice on my face, and it's matte. Like, it is matte. It is 100% matte. That I cannot deny. Foundation is done, and now the next step in my makeup routine is my bronzer. I love bronzer so much. If I was stuck on an island and I can only bring two makeup items, it would be bronzer and blush. Like, I cannot live without my bronzer because it just, it really makes a difference. Contouring really makes a difference. I cannot stress that. Ina, I cannot. Um, so I use this brush. Um, it's actually really nice. I got it from Target. It's by the brand SK and so is my one angle brush, my eyebrow brush. But it's from Target and it's the 126 brush. And I love that it comes with this because it protects it from dust falling on it and stuff. So it looks like this. It is just a straight brush. Um, and I like to use this one right here to contour my cheekbones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My broken hula bronzer. So this brush picks up a ton of powder. So you have to be really careful if you get it or if you do have this brush, then you know what I'm talking about. But it picks up a lot. If you're dipping it in your bronzer or whatever, you have to get that excess off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side first. Like you can, like it's literally already showing up. I use a different brush to blend my bronzer in. This one I kind of just use to make the line. I like to bring my bronzer up to like right here. I, I don't know why. It's just what I like to do. So now I go in with this. It's a powder brush by e.l.f. And I blend everything out. Pretty roughly because you don't want that harsh line. See, look at that. It blends out so nice. Alright, so bronzer on my cheeks is done. Now I go in for my forehead and on my forehead I use 
this. It is Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder by New York Color. Again, not fancy. This one's just lighter. It's not as dark. And on my forehead, I don't like the bronzer to look super dark. So I just hold my hair back and I just go like that all the way down to my cheekbones again. This one, you do have to pick up a lot, but I just like it because it's not super dark. Oh, oh no. See, as you can see, it is bronzing up. Okay, then I go under. Pick up some more. Okay, so I go under. And then on this side, I go straight. And I bring it up to right here. And then I'm gonna go, and then I go on top like a little curved upside down U to really get the ball of my nose. So now I'm sure you can see what my nose is looking like. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the lines one more time. Then I take my big brush from e.l.f. and just blend it all inward and outward. So now that that is all blended, now I go in with my blush. And the blush that I use is just the e.l.f. blush palette. Um, and I use this color right here, which obviously you can tell I use it because it is running out. But once this is done, I do want to get a NARS brand blush because I've used that brand before and I really really liked it so I'm just gonna go in with this Kabuki brush which I got in from that set from TJ Maxx so it's just a Kabuki brush and I go ahead and dip and I'm just gonna do my blush and I do the balls of my cheek and then bring it upwards So as you can start seeing, this is a very natural makeup look, very easy, not many steps, quick, quick and easy. Um, I am taking longer because I'm obviously going through the steps and showing you guys, but usually when I have to go somewhere and I want to wear makeup, but I have to be quick, I literally do this. I'm so used to doing this exact same look that I literally do it in like 15 minutes, sometimes even like 10 or 12 depends like how quick I need to be. So another little thing I like to do, I like taking a little bit of blush and going over my nose like that and my chin. So now that my blush is done, I am now going to do my inner corner. I'm going to go in with Ring Light from the James Charles palette, which is this one right here. It's more of like a white compared to like a gold, like it's more like a white shimmer. And I'm going to put that right in my inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. And I love the name of it, like ring light. Like, yes, ring light. Correct. It honestly actually does remind me of a ring light. So it's in my inner corner. You can never have too much shine in your inner corner. I am doing my inner corner. I do bring it a little bit into my waterline. So eye look is done, face look is done, except highlight and lip liner and lip gloss and mascara. Oh, oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I do highlight my brow bone with ring light, but not as much as what I put on my inner corner. Wow, I really hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna do my mascara next. Before my mascara, I use Maybelline New York The Falsies Push Up Angel. And that is what it looks like. And go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I really have to focus when doing this. So here we go. And boom. And now I go in with this. I love this mascara. It literally isn't lying when it says Push Up Angel. Like, it really is not. I've also been using this mascara for a really long time. Um, I haven't used any other ones sometimes depends on how I'm feeling um, I do have a mini better than sex mascara um, and I'll go over that with or I'll go over this mascara with the better than sex but it depends what type of look I'm doing if it's just my everyday makeup I won't 
but if it's something more colorful or dramatic then I definitely will so then I go angled on my outer eyelashes and then the bottoms the bottom ones the little baby ones I know you guys can see the difference from this eye and this eye like okay so I just use an Urban Decay brush that came with my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated highlighter but um, I'm not going to be using that one today but this is the brush to that I on the other hand here we go again back with the James Charles Morphe palette I dip the my ring finger in so good and ring light and I kind of mix those colors and I put that on the tip of my nose the tip and my bridge so I kind of pat it and then for my bridge I drag it look at that boom and then on the brush I just go like this and then I just tap some off and highlight so pretty. Boom. I love highlight. So now I line my lips. So for the lip liner that I'm using, it's also NYX Matte Lip Liner in the color London. So instead of going all the way across my lip, I keep it just on the bottom of my lips, um, just on the middle, and then I do the same on the top. like that like that then I do a straight line down on the top of my lip and then a straight line up on the bottom of my lip and then I do angled line and angled line like that so that is what my lips look like now and then I go in with my butter gloss. So that is the lip gloss and that is the color of it. And again, it's the Tiramisu by NYX and it's the butter gloss. Okay, so this is the final look. I decided to put my hair up in a little um, clips as you can see and have two of my face ring pieces out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will make sure to put all the products that I used in the description box below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to also turn on your post notifications to make sure you all get notified every time I post. And I just want to say thank you so much again for watching and for supporting and I will see you guys next week Tuesday. Goodbye, my people.